Hi, YouTube. Just thought I'd come and make a little video. I've been getting quite a few negative comments, and I think they're coming from men. Black men, you know, because the white men, they don't care about what I'm talking about. But these men, all women, but they are really upset about the video I made about the Church of God and Christ and witchcraft. Um, they seem to be upset because I don't worship a God or their God. Or just I, I, They don't understand it. But I don't have the need to worship a God. A lot of people are like that. Even though in, a, in the past I did, I faithfully worship Jehovah, Jesus, all, all of these gods. And, you know, you can't, once you understand something, I would be the hypocrite if I made like I didn't. I mean, everything I understand and know, I'd be the hypocrite if I went back on what I said. And I don't know, I, I, I've deleted a lot of comments and some people, there's a lot of people going to get deleted because I don't want to go back and forth with these long dissertations and books and all of this stuff that people are writing. Make you a YouTube channel and, uh, you know, just to share your world, but don't be trying to convert a person. That's what I, I just hate for somebody to try to convert me. I am a person who rarely believes. I used to, but I go on things that I know because when you believe, it's, it's just, you're still searching and it's, it's faith when you have to believe. But the things that I know is what carries me through. Uh, a few things that I know. You know, I don't even know if I was born on March the 11th, 1954, but that's what they told me. Now, that's the thing I believe. But I know all of these phenomenal metaphysical things that happened to me, I do know those things happen. I know that in the ninth grade, not in ninth grade, but in the third grade when I was nine years old, I know. I heard the voice of my intuition. That intuition was me, my voice, like I am now, talking to me when I was in the third grade because I heard the voice and it sounds like me now. But when I was in third grade, I didn't know who that voice was. And it's, it saved me in many occasions. So that is what I know. I know people who have hurt me. I know those things happen. That is real. I don't have to believe those things. I know. I know the pain. I know the joy. I know the pleasure. So I don't have to go on a belief. I'm not looking for another religion or something I have to wonder, is it going to make me a better person? I, I don't have to do that. So, I don't know what I'm going to title this video because, I don't know, I, maybe I didn't make myself clear enough when I made that video years ago. I don't even know what year it was, but I still stand on what I said. And I always say you can't know, you can't unknow something that you know. You can't unsee something that you've seen. So, can't take it down. That's just all it is. And I always say, you people that call yourself leaders and teachers, you cannot teach what you don't know. You can't lead where you haven't been. So, you know, it, it's just, I don't know why people try to do that. And you can't convert people. You can just give them a little information, but... I, I'm the one that's trying to always consult with, ooh, this thing is moving, consult with my inner self, that higher self, the intuition. That's all I need to know. So 
People could always talk about what Jesus said and what Christ did. And I believe that his message was misinterpreted some kind of way. When he said, I and the Father are one, Father, make them one as we are one. When you are one, if God is here and you're one with God, that's what I'm talking about. When you when I say you are God, it's just like the river that flows to the ocean. When the river flows into the ocean, you can't separate them. You can't tell. So they are one. We are one with God. We create ourselves. We recreate ourselves on a daily basis. If you want to. Now you could settle uh, uh, behind a rock on the road and just absorb some kind of religion. But I don't have to do that. I don't have to be a part of this uh, Hebrew Israelites. And none of that stuff. Church of God and Christ. I don't have to do nothing. Catholic. All of that. I'm so, it's like a shell. You come out of a shell and you don't have to do that. So. It's, I, I got to make, no, I don't have to make myself plain, but <laughs> I don't know. I'm just going to, you know, keep on talking about what I talk about. And, you know, you don't have to believe. I'm not trying to make you believe. I'm trying to make you remember so you will go beyond belief and know. You have got to know something. And the things that you don't know, you put them on the shelf and maybe in time you'll understand what it is. There's still a lot of things on my shelf or in my box that I don't understand. But we'll get there when we get there. But I, I can't go for these uh, Hebrew Israelites and telling me about Jehovah and the Most High. That's a fictional story. The Bible is fictional. And I, I, I just don't understand it. I used to believe it. But think about this. How come this God created the world, the whole wide world, in six days? After six days, he was tired, okay? But then you go down the road a little bit. This same God, <laughs> this same God, he wanted to make some rules for these people, his people. To live by, and he goes up in the mountains or whatever and gets some rocks and carve on a stone Ten Commandments. But it took him 40 days to do this. Now, now, what kind of God, what, what happened in between that? Six days you can do all of this, but it takes you 40 days to write down 10 laws? That don't make sense. And there's a lot of things in the Bible that does not make sense. And it's just a story. It's a fictional story. You have to remember, we grew up on stories. It's man. It's in the nature of man to tell stories. Your African man, the black people, they are the first storytellers that there is, or that there was. They're the first ones who start telling stories. And, you know, the story can change, and it, it goes on down generation to generation. But the stories are told kind of like a parable or something to make you understand what's good and what's not good but it did it is it serves a purpose but it's supposed to open your understanding but the jewish people they are one of the most creative storytellers that there is because you think about it that story in genesis and all of that all of that is just wow it's a good story Think about Hollywood now. The Jews are still leading the storytelling. So they make all these movies and they just full of, I don't know, imagination. So that's all it is. It's a story. And I'm, I have so much peace when I go inside and um, consult the inner me. Mary, the the uh, portion of me now that I, I don't know what I know. I, I feel so much better when I consult myself. Because this morning, boy, it rained cats and dogs. And I just love to get wet in the rain. But I was sitting there 
opening a, a box. Some of the sun is good as coming these boxes from Chewy. So I couldn't find my box cutter. I, I mean, I knew what it was, where it was, but I just didn't feel like digging for it. So I guess this big old cutting knife and covering the living room and kind of swinging the knife around playing with the box. And this boy says, you be careful because that knife will make you bleed. And I said, hmm. I went on, sat down and started cutting the box. When I made the first cut, that knife came around and slashed my thumb right across there. Blood went everywhere. God, I had a hard time making this cut stop bleeding. But <laughs> that, that sweet little voice whispered, be careful. That knife will make you bleed. And I, it wasn't even 20 seconds after that. Blood was everywhere. So I am just amazed that it's still there and information flows. So get in touch with your higher self and, you know, investigate. You'll have more fun with it than sitting up talking about looking for a black Jesus with wool hair and all that. You, I mean... You know, if you believe that's what's happening, but that's for you. But then don't try to uh, tell other people they stupid and they going to hell and all that kind of stuff. But anyway, that's what my mind is on today. I'll come back with something more uplifting than this. But anyway, <clears throat> we'll talk to you later, guys. Bye.